Hi everyone, here's Helena Alcas from epersonorganizer.com. I'm a professional organizer and I run a small business. Uh, and one of the things that um, has helped my business grow and become um, a steady, um, successful business in San Diego has been my blogging and my social media presence. However, both activities require a lot of work and as you know, there is a lot that goes into it. If you are blogging and having and doing social media, you know how much work it takes. Um, so I'm always looking for tools that can help me simplify my online life as much as my personal and professional life. So one tool that I have been using now for a while and I am extremely happy with, it's CoSchedule. CoSchedule is an editorial calendar. It's an integration with WordPress and it gets all your stuff related to your blog in one place. Your blog posts, your social med messages, you can bring your um, blog contributors into it, you can make, uh, you can see your unscheduled drafts, you can assign tasks if you are running a multi-editor, a multi-author blogger, blog for example, I'm sorry, um, you can leave messages and people will then make the um, changes and corrections according to your requests. And as it shows here, as it says here in their homepage, it is a drag and drop editorial calendar. It has automated social publishing and um, you uh, will also see many other features that I really enjoy. You can try it for free. I believe it's a 30-day uh, trial, if I'm not mistaken. And then it's $10 a month, and it's really a bargain for what you're going to get for it in CoSchedule. So let's take a look at my blog in the back end. And here's CoSchedule uh, to my left. It will be open to you. Um, it will be uh, under calendar. Okay. And then, oh, so, um, and then you will want to um, set up everything first. It will um, show you, let me see here, it will, as soon as you install um, CoSchedule, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, as soon as you install CoSchedule, we'll come to settings and that's where you will uh, connect everything. Uh, here are your calendar settings. You can select the color. So let's say uh, if you are managing several blogs, you can assign a color for each of them and they will all be listed and you will easily spot uh, client A will be red and you can assign them colors according to the colors of their blogs, for example. Uh, the next thing you will do is how many weeks you want to see in your calendar, six weeks, four weeks, when the day starts, really basic uh, calendar settings uh, here. Uh, next, you're going to connect social profiles and um, you can see that it does include Tumblr, it includes Pinterest, which is amazing, and then it... Um, uh, includes Google Plus, which is very important. So um, Nacho Iguarte is a contributor in the blog, and he does a great job, and he has all his social profiles connected as well as I do. And uh, Pinterest, actually, you will connect uh, board by board. Okay, so be patient when the, <laughs> you scroll down because there will be a lot of boards there. But it's worth the trouble. So the next step is integrations and you can connect to uh, your shortener. In the case here, it's Bitly. I am not sure if they work with other uh, shorteners. Um, you can connect to your Google Analytics and actually when you open your analytics, you'll see if it was a co-scheduled campaign that drove traffic to a specific blog post, for example. So it's really nice. And then um, you will... Um, be able to actually connect uh, co-schedule to your Google Calendar. 
So for example, let's say I want to know, I want to receive a reminder of the blog posts that are being published. And so I connect this to my Google Calendar and then uh, you just accept the integration request and you will see then on your Google Calendar the blog post on the day and time it's going to be published. So it's pretty neat. Um, it's a neat way of seeing what's going to happen um, on a bird's eye view uh, from your blog, about your blog. So you have your team, you can add people here, new users, and you can assign them their um, roles and then um, you will see them here in this panel. There's a referral program. You can use this link to uh, share online and see if, and, and then ask people to give it a try. If they sign up, uh, you will receive credits. And then uh, billing information and WordPress settings, uh, which is not ap applicable to my specific blog. Next thing, once you have set up co-schedule with all these steps, you will see then um, your calendar. And let's see what's uh, showing here. So this is how uh, I see um, a personal organizer blog. And here you can see my last blog post. Um, it will open a screen like this one when I click on it. It tells me the status, it tells me the post type and when it was published and what time and so forth. So here you can also see all the uh, social messages, all the social media updates that I uh, created using this post and what has been already uh, sent and what it's going to come. You can see show nine sent messages here and this is what's going to come in seven days, this is what's going to come in 28 days and so forth. Um, and I do this just in case you're wondering because once a blog post is published it goes into uh, we just forget about it so I like to schedule posts uh, my posts to go over and over again and that keeps traffic uh, active on your site and you should do that at least for your top posts which you can find out on your analytics or if you use Jetpack you will have your analytics uh, integrated to in your blog in your website so um, if I click on open in WordPress I'm going to do this so you can see how it works. It will open a new tab and it will open the post itself. Okay. So here is um, the post and this is where you will, uh, once you uh, inserted your post, once you inserted, you edited everything, inserted your images, etc you then have um, down here a uh, code schedule and you can um, see my stats for this post, how many times it has been shared in each platform and then if I want to uh, schedule a new message for this post, I will select the social network right here and let's say I want to share on my personal profile and um, I, can, I have the option of making it a text post, an image post, and that will pull uh, either the first image or the featured image, but I believe, yes, it gives you the option of going through all the images you have in your uh, post. Okay, and then uh, it can be also just a link post, um, and so you come here and you have the option below uh, this you have the option to insert the day you want so you can choose a custom date and select on a calendar when you want this to go so I'm just gonna push um, for uh, two three months from now and then it will go between 8 a.m. or 11 a.m. or you can choose a custom time 
and then you click on, the, on this drop down you select what time you want it to go or uh, click undo and you'll see that this isn't is integrated with buffer and if you're using buffer to schedule your social media this is a great way of uh, inserting uh, this post just like it's looking like the here to this specific social profile you just add it to buffer and it will uh, insert in your queue and it will go out that day okay so we can uh, add this message click right here add this message and you will see that it's it goes all the way to the end because I scheduled for sept September uh, so it it goes all the way down to your um, queue so going back to the calendar okay once we're in the calendar you will see then a, a quick summary of all the first uh, post itself and all the social messages you scheduled and that have been sent or are about to be sent okay um, these here are scheduled for next week and if I go forward all the way to September I will find again a new uh, new posts okay um, so this is a very um, I find cool schedule uh, oh, an awesome tool it simplifies the way I uh, schedule my blog posts to go out on my uh, social media uh, scheduling it um, it's all in one place you have your stats you have um, your all your blog posts uh, in your blog of course and then it simplifies you can see all in one place okay so uh, if you like CoSchedule give it a try go to uh, coschedule.com sign up for the free, free trial and see if this works for you I think you're gonna get hooked and you will enjoy it having it all in one place okay uh, if you have any questions, you can send me an email to apersonalhelena at apersonalorganizer.com. Uh, join me on my Facebook page, a Helena, a personal organizer, and I would love to see you there. And in the meantime, enjoy close schedule, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.